Yo, what's going on guys? Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about ACC and all of its shortcomings and where I think the game went wrong, what they could improve upon if they have time. But um, for me personally, I've been on the game for six years and this is sort of like a final review of where ACC is at at the moment and where it should be at. All right, but anyway guys, let's get stuck into the video. So right now I would say ACC is in a weird position where you could say it's kind of in its final stage, sort of falling off. You've got lots of competition you've got big updates on iRacing you've got big updates on race room you've got ren sport there for the competitive scene as well you've got le mans ultimate people still playing r factor people still playing the uh old ac and the new ac evo about to come out as well so there's a lot of competition on the market at the moment and you have to say acc to me is kind of falling short of where it could have been because there's been so much potential to me lost in this game I would say one of the big factors to that as well has been the 1.9 update which sort of killed the whole setups i've spoken about this loads of times on my streams um you guys can go back and watch i've it's definitely something i've been vocal about i feel as if the setups are just not as in depth as they used to be very easy to just get a meta setup and away you go and it's been like that for for about a year and a half almost two years now and it's kind of getting frustrating because there really is no need for me to actually get on and grind setups anymore yes you can grind laps to sort of fine-tune your driving and get the best lap times you can but in terms of setups there really isn't that much to learn anymore from acc but for me the main thing has got to be the tracks and the tracks they've brought into the game the dlc and what they could have done so much better so let's get actually stuck into the track list and what could have been the track list for acc now i'm on the gt challenge website and you can see all of these sort of things that fall under the umbrella of the sro group and there is loads and loads and loads of championships and when you actually go through each of these and go through all of the calendars you actually realize how short change we've actually been on the game i think right now we've only got about we've got 25 tracks i believe and let's be honest there's probably around three or four tracks maybe even five tracks that hardly ever really get used especially if you're doing uh, any sort of championship or anything like that but let's dive into it a little bit and to that we're going to have to sort of go to gt challenge the main um, challenge which is the european one and we're going to go back to 2018 so if we go to the calendar we scroll back to 2018 when this game actually came out you can see basically this was the calendar. These were the original tracks. Zolder, Monza, Grand Hatch, Silverstone, Paul Ricard, Mazzano, Spa, um, Hungara Ring, Nürburgring, Barcelona. These are the tracks that we had straight away. And this was the calendar. So no problems with that at all. Perfectly fine. That's what the game came with. And of course, with this being an, an official title, this was pretty much what we expected and accepted. If we move on to 2019 now, we do know that COVID happened and stuff like that. So maybe traveling wasn't as easy and all those sorts of things. So we understand that. Um, again, Monza, Brantach, Silverstone, Paul Ricard, Mazzano, Spa, Zandvoort, um, Nürburgring, Hungara Ring, Barcelona. Fine. We have all those tracks. Not a problem. Um, if we move on to 2020, you can see things are starting to change. Um, Imola was brought in. So... You know now we have Imola which they did give us in the game which is you know something we have to commend them for because I remember at the time we weren't really expecting it but we also did get Manny Core and that was back in 2020 four years ago Manny Core and we are yet to still see that put into the game I'm not sure why that is maybe they struggled for finances I'm not too sure but I feel like if you are the official title of a a championship then you need to be able to react to whenever there's new circuits put on the calendar just like imagine an f1 game coming out and not having the official track list it probably doesn't really make that much sense because you are the official game so you need to be able to field everything that we see in real life you need to be able to update it and bring it to the game because you are the official championship and this is not something that is like a new track that only came in 2024 manny core has been around since 2020 so that's four years that we've basically been waiting for a track that we haven't got we're now in september right now so it actually is like four years almost on the dot um 2021 again manicorn on the calendar again 
we scroll down we got valencia and they gave us valencia pretty pretty quickly but manny core has been on the calendar a year longer and still was never ever received so again we did get valencia which we can't complain about i'm not going to complain when they do give us something but i still feel like more could have been done again 2022 manny core still on the calendar um as is Imola, but now they've also added Hockenheim. Now Hockenheim's coming 2022, that is two years ago, and still to this day, we've never seen Hockenheim on the game. But we have Valencia and Imola, okay? So it's almost as if, kind of, it's like half the job, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more when we get to the American GT Challenge, because I feel like it's the same sort of thing where it's like, they've done half of the job, you know? and that's cool but we're not here for half of the job man <laughs> we we want we want we want everything that we see in real life we want that to be replicated in a game that is supposed to be the replica of the real life championship um again in 2023 hockenheim on the calendar again by this time of course zanvor has been updated since 2021 i believe and still there's been no sort of update to the game Zanvor, which is probably the reason why no one really picks it for any sort of leagues. I hardly ever see Zanvor anymore. Literally, hardly ever. Um, and yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, Manicor wasn't on the 2023 calendar, but Hockenheim was. And again, it's another track that we didn't get. Now to 2024, which is still going on. So we've got Paul Ricard, Brands Hatch, Mazzano, Spa, Hockenheim, Nurburgring. We have Manny Core back on the calendar, uh, Monza, Barcelona, and now we've got Jeddah, which I'm not going to complain about Jeddah not being there right now because it's still a new circuit that is yet to be raced on this year. But, you know, we know that now there is another track. And are we going to get that track? I probably don't see it coming because we have AC Evo around the corner. And do I still think that they're putting work into um, ACC. I probably doubt it, man. I probably doubt it. Now, you could say we're missing three tracks from the European series that potentially we should get. Fine. But if we go back to the SRO websites again, and let's say we go to, I don't know, GT Challenge Asia. And then we go to the calendar over here. Now, let's go back to 2018, maybe 2019. When some DLC starts coming out or whatever. We have Sepang. We have Shang International. We've got Suzuka. We don't have Fuji. Um, this is Korea. I ain't even going to try and pronounce it. But the old F1 track. I'm sure a lot of people remember. Sebastian Vettel was an absolute menace around this circuit. Um, and also Shanghai. So straight away. This literally. Five tracks we just never ever got. You know. We only got one of them. Maybe that's from the Intercontinental GT pack, but still, it's just a bunch of tracks we just have not got for whatever reason. Okay, if we forward that to 2020, see what the calendar was in 2020. No, I think this was COVID time, so there was no calendar. 2021, again, no calendar. 2022, however, Sepang, Suzuka, Fuji, Sports and Sugo, so another track. And then Okayama, also again, another track. So... We're looking at seven tracks now that's that's potentially not been added from just the asian region now if you add that to the other three tracks we have from the european region that's now 10 tracks that's almost half of the actual track list that we do have and the joke is the majority of these tracks are extremely good to race on so you know we're missing out quite a lot now let's go to 2023 again now they've added montegi another track so that's up the the list to like 11 tracks we haven't got so we're almost literally at halfway to the 25 tracks we do have on the game there's 11 tracks that we don't have that we probably should have okay now as i said i'm not going to be too hard on them for not having tracks for 2024 because we're in 2024 so it's probably not that easy to get things done in the same year i understand that but let's have a look anyway i think is the season finished? No, it's not. So yeah, there's no there's no more extra tracks for this year, which is cool. But again, if we go back to the SRO websites and we go to GT Challenge America, for instance, 
and then we go to calendar and as i said i'm going to go back to 2019 maybe or when the dlc drops even if i go to 2018 okay we got pittsburgh we got long beach we got canada um, motorsports park road america the only track from this whole list that we've got is watkins Glen. so <laughs> we've gone from 11 tracks that we never had to you know 15 tracks now we're over halfway to what the track list is today on acc and again we can add to that virginia raceway we can add to that sonoma we can add to that las vegas motor speedway and it's actually insane man like we've we've been pretty much short changed now i know it's a small team at kunos but as i stated before if you are the official game for you know for the for the gt world challenge then surely you have to realize that people are going to expect you to bring forward the official calendars for the real life series because if this was f1 i just know a lot of this stuff will be getting pushed out you know and you see all these other games with all these updates and stuff you're thinking yo like we could really do with some of that to especially to revitalize the game for me acc the tracks are getting stale once the tracks get stale it's you know the survival rate is is 50 50 at this point okay especially with more competition coming now let's go to 2020 again we have got um circuit of the americas and we do have indianapolis but we don't have some of the major tracks i know i think they even race at sebring now so sonoma virginia raceway road america you know they're probably the better tracks if you think about it from the from the uh, american series those are probably the tracks you would want to race on sebring included you know and what do we have we have indianapolis which is a bit of a mare watkins is okay you know kota i quite enjoy i feel like it's a good track for racing but we didn't get road america we missed out road america we missed out sebring you know to me these are more of the iconic tracks you know that that if you think of american tracks they're towards the the front of most people's you know liking most people are going to think about road america most people are going to think about sebring so to not have those tracks is it's kind of like an l to me um let's go to 2022 they've got nola motorsports park um again another track that we just don't have 2023 i think the track list is around about the same so it's you know again short change 2024 as i said not gonna fuss about too much but yeah i would think it's barber motorsports park so they did have another track for 2024 but we're not going to complain about that let's go back to the sro websites and you know a section that we don't even don't even think about there is actually a gt challenge australia no one talks about this nobody let's go to the calendar here and um sid i don't even know what this track is sydney motorsports but let's let's go down back to 2021 when it actually started so i guess there was no racing in 2021 or 2022 2023 so i think this is a little bit more understandable for them not to have a calendar because it would have had to be in sort of rush to put together because it's only really last year that they've you know been able to actually get championships on the go but as you can see there is a potential for more growth if they were really planning to do that but i don't think they are you know um so of course bathurst we have perth super sprint don't even know what that track is shannon speed series phillip islands phillip island is a great track normally watch it in moto gp but it's a, a great track sydney super night don't know what that track is um queensland raceway not sure what that is and adelaide we all know adelaide from back in the day f1 if you actually well we don't all know but if you've been watching f1 for as long as i have you know adelaide right um and again super amounts of growth by now we're into the 20s of tracks that we don't have okay so you only have to look at the actual potential of what acc could have done with this game title and for me personally i don't actually believe acc has to be a game that has a you know a a sell by date because with updates acc can continue its growth now i know a lot of people are going to say maybe they didn't have the money and all those good things but for me you know when you are the official game you've been tasked with representing the actual real life championship so 
for me they can't be no excuse because at the end of the day i feel like other games you know where it is f1 and i know they've got ea behind them they've got tons of money but they would make it happen and if you've been tasked with something and you know you have all these sponsors and the people that back you to be the official title then surely you have to sort something out you have to get these things moving in the right direction because i'm telling you this game could be so much bigger and better than what it actually is but it is what it is guys tell me what you think in the comment section below have acc fallen below where they should have been as a game title for me personally i think yes and i feel like there is tons of growth still for acc if they're willing to put the work into it but i guess the focus has probably shifted to ac evo now so it is what it is guys but anyways cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace